Hey, hey guys, guys and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our channel. channel. It's your boy Alvin. And Latina. Shout out to the All Stars. She see you. I see you. We see you. Better that Let's go. This is... This blind date did not go how we assumed. Tell my story. My soul pancake. Soul pancake. Diversity is very important to me, but it's also just important to me to have a community of people who look and come from different backgrounds and you know just to have a lot of different insights into life that way it gets really boring i think when everybody looks the same and acts the same i'm looking for someone who can be the peanut butter to my jelly someone who can be the bonnie to my clyde except not criminals um my right hand man i guess that's what i'm looking for the soul to my pancake that's what i'm looking for the soul to my pancake i am the soul he could just be the pancake your name is Sharice and this is your story you are 23 years old for work you are a teacher so my name is Adama of like Obama. I am 24 years old. For work? Well, I'm a student. I'm a med student. Teacher? But you just seem like you have this look like you would really like kids and that you like want to work with kids. I actually want to be a pediatrician. Okay, so your name is Josh and this is your story. Um, it looks you like a are 25 man. years old. Uh, for work, I put um, graphic designer slash architect. Nice, okay. Um, so... My name is Aaron. Um, I'm 27 years old. Uh, for work, I'm a performer. I'm an actor, model, magician. Okay. Being um, different growing up, oh gosh, I was bullied. And so I think as a result, I kind of grew up with, well, if I can't look cool or I can't look pretty, then I might as well have a big personality. And, you know, I like to think I grew into myself and I think I like the way I look now um, but I think being an outlier was definitely a benefit for me because it taught me that looks aren't everything appearance is not everything I date with intentionality I don't just date to run around and have a good time or date for now because I'm looking for somebody to spend a lifetime with uh, so I don't want to waste time on dating other people that are just fun for now Your favorite sport is dance. Your favorite movie quote is, this could be the start of something new from High School Musical. And your go-to song is one of the songs from the Cheetah Girls. <gasps> Which one? I don't know. I just, probably one of them. Do you know the Cheetah Girls songs? Cause we can, we can go I don't right know now. This, I don't know the songs. Okay. I just know the songs, but clearly that's the right answer. My right. favorite sport is actually dance. Yeah, I do burlesque. My favorite movie quote, I put none. <laughs> Why don't you have a favorite movie quote? There's too many. Cinderella by Cheetah Girls is my jam, but mine is actually both by Gucci Mane and Drake. Your favorite sport is, I put football slash surfing. I don't know, your hair, it's beautiful. And I don't know, I just get surfer vibe, like Baywatch. Again, I failed on a movie Jesus. quote, so I put Bond. James Bond. <laughs> it's you a know. Quote. Hey, it is. And your go-to song is "Don't Stop Believing," but I don't know who that's Dang by. Stop. Uh, it would be awesome mm -hmm. if I knew how to surf. I said weightlifting. Favorite movie quote? I actually said, "I don't have friends. I have family." From Fast and the Furious. Wait, wait Fast, which one? I mean, all of these says that. All of them, oh. I think. I said my go-to song if I were to do karaoke because I don't think they have things for karaoke like Gucci Mane and all that and Drake and all that they in do. the karaoke. They do. They do. <laughs> okay, well I said in sync because when I was in fifth grade I knew those in sync songs so I feel like karaoke is like old stuff. That's good. Like bye bye bye, tearing up my heart. Exactly. Yep. yep. <laughs> she is I identify fun. as and is Christian and I need to be with someone who believes at least that there's something out there. 
I'm a Christian and yeah. I've been saved since I was five. My bio dad ah. is not and was not and did not like that I was a Christian. He always said, we'll see what you believe when you turn 18. So when I turned 18, you know, I let him know what I believe and I think he came into a deeper respect for it at that point. So, you know, it's not like we don't get along when we see each other on rare occasion, but it's just that we, it's a very rare occasion that we see each other. Level three, heavyweight. I said, you think one of the most important purposes of life is loving others. You do believe in afterlife. Uh, when you die, you believe you'll be with God. Okay, so I think one of the most important purposes of life is to find love. Okay. So that's kind of ballpark. Kind of loving others. So. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't believe in an afterlife. Okay. Uh, so when I die, I believe you're dead. That sounded so like morbid, like you're dead, you're gone. I just believe when you die, you die. When you die, you die. I mean, that's accurate. Okay, I don't believe you just straight up go to heaven. Oh, let, let me clarify. I think when you're dead, you're, you're gone. Um, so I think one of, no, that your most important purpose in life is to be happy, find happiness. I put that you do believe in an afterlife. And then when you die, you believe that good souls go to heaven and bad souls, you know, go to hell. <laughs> okay, I think one of the most important purposes in life is serving God. Um, I definitely would never yeah, say so. happiness, because uh, I think happiness is so based on happenstance. I definitely believe in um, heaven and hell. I definitely believe in, yeah. you know, I forgot. yeah, 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 what? Like oh, you figured yeah. I did or you now agree? <laughs> no, 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 okay, so let me clarify. So yes. I mean that when you're dead, you're in the ground, you're dead, and okay. then I believe in almost like a rapture, like God will, or the creator will come down and then you will decide, he will decide whether or not you're going to heaven and hell. But you said you don't believe in an afterlife. Wait, does that count? I, when I think of afterlife, I think like you're reincarnated. I see. That's so you I believe think. in heaven and hell, you don't believe in reincarnation? Yes. That's totally different than what I just thought your whole entire thing on spirituality. Like, this girl, she's fake. Was. She's a flip flopper. No, no, no. <laughs> I believe in an afterlife, I guess, in the sense of heaven and hell, but yeah. not reincarnation. When I die, I can't wait for him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Okay. That's what I'm looking forward to. Quoting the scriptures. Exactly. I'm impressed. I think most important for me now is religion. Like, I need someone that believes in God because my last relationships, they believed, sure, but they weren't, like, very active in, like, going to church and all that. On my side of things, so yes, I exclusively date black women. The Lord created one specific person for me. And I believe that she's black. So okay. definitely, obviously Whoa. the main thing we talked about is that they love Jesus as much as I do. Mm -hmm. I want somebody who um, as well is independent and a leader when I'm not around, but when I'm around, she wants me to lead her and co-lead with me. So initially I feel like it gets really easy to think that someone's dating exclusively black women for a fetish i'm sure i mean based on the impression so far that it's not like that but if a guy says that he only dates black women i'm like well i'm black so if it's not a fetish let's go okay what do you think they'll say oh they're definitely going to date wait they're I think definitely going to date i think she's gonna say that she wants to date him but I don't think he's gonna want to date her. He he's definitely giving her the eye. I'm a guy, so I know he's letting her know. I don't think he's you into my boo her. thing. You my boo thing. I don't think he's into her. Mm. Let's see. And there you have it. Alvin is right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he don't look like he's interested. Yes, he do. He is and I feel like he's gonna, I feel like he's gonna say he's okay. Not so to when I first saw you, um, I decided that I would date you, and I put a smiley face. Well, first of all, you're very attractive, so I was like, okay, definitely would. Um, you just seem really chill and relaxed, and I like the energy around me. Um, but now that I've talked to you and gotten to know you more, I said I would definitely uh, date you. Uh, especially when we started talking about like religion because that is really important to me and you're still cute obviously after talking to you um, but yeah the end so when I first saw you I decided that I wouldn't date you okay. and this was based on uh, just that 
your talking about your energy as well just felt like that of a friend and more like my friends and you know less like a romantic thing but after talking with you more um, and seeing everything so many things that we have in common I still thought I wouldn't date you but that we'd be great friends we have so many similar interests Ooh, and values so but it, I just sense like a, uh, a friendship type of vibe between us okay if that makes sense yeah I like meeting new people so it was cool uh, it's always rough to tell somebody who I says they would friends. date you that you see them more as a friend so that is what it is but uh, but I enjoyed getting to know her she's she's cool she's dope we obviously have tons in common that was a really interesting experience I was surprised because I thought we were getting along really well so I kind of thought that I had it in the bag but uh, I guess you win some and you lose some that's life she's out of control yeah I just felt had that in the bag <laughs> I don't think he wasn't attracted to her. I just think they would clash a lot and I think he could see that. Just like when they were talking about religion, you know, she says it's really important to her, but they don't see it the same way. Like reincarnation is reincarnation and afterlife is an afterlife. So I don't know. Like I, I could see that he wasn't interested, especially based on that. Well, in my eyes, I just think he a smooth operator. Oh, my gosh. And uh, basically, like, we just friends. You know how the guy, you know, be like, man, I ain't tripping. You ain't that deal. Mm -hmm. And then be mashing you up behind closed doors. I'm just saying. I think they are going to stay in contact. I think he really meant it when he said that he thinks they have a really good vibe as friends and they do I could see them hanging out I just couldn't see them dating mm -mm. I just don't see them as maybe a not dating but temptation is a mofo okay, we all human but he's making it very clear that he's not he even said that I'm not looking for it right now I'm looking for someone to spend my life with he ain't he ain't trying to do that men need to stop putting this idea out in the world that you have to have sex because you get hard like uh well i know i got my one and only and i ain't getting hired for nobody but my one and only sorry excuse my language but sidetrack if you guys like this video let us know in the comment section and let us know what your thoughts <laughs> is about it <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit, hit that, that button. button. We love you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Or a thousand. Love you.